Second language support in Busy. In this presentation, we'll discuss about the second language support feature provided in Busy. It's a very powerful and simple to use feature using which you can print your invoice in your native language like Hindi, Bengali, Marathi, Tamil, etc. Whatever your native language is, you can print the invoice in the same language. Like other softwares, you need to do the data entry in English language only, but the invoice can be printed in the language as selected by you. To implement this feature, you need to perform the following steps. First of all, you need to download and install Google Input Tool. Then enable second language support feature in Busy. Specify company, account, item details in second language. Configure invoice printing. Enter transactions in English language and print invoice in the language of your choice. First of all, we'll open the site www.google.com input tools. Click the on windows option on the right hand side. You can see the list of languages is appearing. Select the language in which you want to print your invoice. You can select more than one language also. Here we have selected only Hindi language and click the download button to download the Google input tool. You will go to my computers download section. Here you can see input tool setup exe is appearing. Install the input tool on your computer. Once the installation is complete you can see in the status bar that it's been installed now I open the busy application open the company in which you want to work specify super username and password and first of all we'll go to administration configuration features options general tab and enable the enable second language support feature Specify why in this data field after specifying why you need to specify the language here You can see only Hindi language is appearing in the list as if you remember we have downloaded only Hindi language If you have downloaded more than one language then all those language will be appearing in the list So currently we'll select the Hindi language and specify the font size by default font size is set to 12 You can change it to as per your requirement and click save button to save the configuration details now we have enabled the second language support feature in busy next we'll go to added company option and specify the company details in second language in the window you can see second language button is provided click this button on clicking this button you can specify company's name print name and address in second language here for us second language is Hindi so we can enter these details in Hindi language at the bottom you can see recommended method for data entry in second language is Google input tool you can see we are typing in the English only and Google input tool is translating it to the Hindi language we are not typing this text in Hindi language we are simply typing company's name print name and address in English language and it is translating it to the Hindi language you can see even the numeric fields are appearing in Hindi language click save button to save the company details in second language next we'll enter the party details in second language we'll go to account master modify option we have selected the electronic sub party and have clicked the second language button here also we'll type the party name alias print name in the second language here also we are typing in the English language and it has been translated into the Hindi language second language you can see the address 12 oblique 24 lal market Pashtim Vihar Delhi whatever text you are typing is appearing in Hindi language next we'll specify item details in second language for this we'll open an item in modify mode click the second language button and will specify the item name alias print name or description in the second language here also we are typing in English language and it's been converted into Hindi language so it's a very simple way of specifying second language and as we have said earlier also that it's recommended that you use Google input tool by using Google input tool you need to only type in the English language and it will automatically translate it into the language that you have selected Till now we have discussed about the account and item details to be entered in second language individually. Apart from this in the bulk updations menu we have provided check update account second language details and check update item second language details options also to update second language details of items and account masters in bulk. First of all we'll go to check update account second language option here you can see account name alias print name and address all these options are enabled that is we want to specify second language details for all these data fields click load masters button here we have selected sundry debtors option and have selected all the parties falling under the sundry debtors group 
Next on the screen, you can see list of all the parties along with account name SL, alias SL, print name SL, address SL field. Here you need to specify the details in second language. Here also we are typing the details in English language and it is being converted into Hindi language. So using this screen at a single go, you can update second language details for multiple parties. Click save button to save the second language details for these parties. Next, we'll go to check update item second language details options. Using this option, you can update second language details for multiple items at one go. Here we are updating name, alias, print name and description of items. Click load masters button to load the list of masters. We have selected all the masters and on the screen you can see item name SL, alias SL, print name SL and description SL fields are appearing. You can type data in these data fields in second language. However, if you have maintained any Excel sheet or word sheet in second language that is in Hindi language if the names are written somewhere you can copy these names from there also on the screen you can see we have copied item name from an excel sheet and we are pasting it to the busy data grid so control C control V copy paste function is working perfectly fine for this feature if you want you can copy second language details also from an excel or word sheet to the busy data Click save button to save the item details in second language. Till now we have discussed about the account item second language details to be added individually or using the bulk updation option. Apart from this, you can maintain dictionary for the second language also. For this, in the administration menu, miscellaneous data entry menu, you can use the second language dictionary option. Using this option, you can specify the second language details for various static data fields. Like here in the local field, you need to specify the field in the English language. For example, here we are specifying the field as invoice number and in the second language, we are specifying how this field will be displayed in second language or Hindi language. We have entered invoice number, date of invoice, place of supply and the description of goods and have specified second language details for them. This will be helpful while configuring invoice printing. In the invoice printing, whichever field you will pick with an SL field appended to it, Busy will search for it in the dictionary and if Busy found that field in the dictionary, then it will be printed in the second language. So using the second language dictionary option, you can create your own dictionary, maintain your data basically for different fields that how these fields will be printed in the second language. One of the most important work we'll discuss about the configuration of invoice and documents. For this, we'll go to administration invoice document configuration standard option. In the standard option, we have selected the sales invoice option and have clicked the second language button. On clicking the second language button, you need to specify that whether you want static details that is caption, account detail, item details and company details to be printed in English language or second language that is Hindi language in our case. You want you can print some fields in Hindi language and some prints in English language also. So here we have selected second language for all these fields for that is for static data, company data, item data and account data. Click save button to save the standard format. Next, we will discuss about the advanced invoice document configuration. For this, we'll go to invoice document printing advanced option. We have already created a second language format. We'll go to its header section. Here in the fields available field, you can see various fields are appearing with underscore SL word appended to it. Basically, whenever you will use this field, the field will be printed in second language. You can load it the default format also and specify hash SL word with the fields that you want to print in the second language. Here on the screen, you can see in the invoice number field after caret sign and comma sign, we are writing the word hash SL. Similarly, in the date of invoice, place of supply on description of goods fields, we are also appending the word hash SL. So then you will print the invoice in this particular format. These fields will be printed in second language. Click save button to save the format details. Now we'll go to the data entry part. For this, we'll go to transactions, sales, add option. One thing to remember here is that data entry will be done in English language only. There will be no change in it. Specify header related details in the sales voucher. In the billing shipping details, you can see second language button is appearing on clicking which you can see the details as you have entered in the party master. Party name, address is appearing in, in the second language. If you want, you can change these details here also. Specify item related details in the voucher, apply the required bills and click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher, Busy has asked for printing of the invoice. Click yes button. Here we are printing the invoice in standard format. 
and in the preview you can see the format in the second language that is hindi language what a beautiful format it is it is looking perfectly fine all the fields which we have defined in the second language are appearing here basically the format in which we have defined here we have used the standard format so all the fields are appearing in the second language so this is a very simple and powerful feature of printing invoice in your native language apart from all these things one more features which is provided is of the data export import of the second language masters basically you can export and import second language details also for this you will go to administration data export import import masters from excel item option here we have selected the field item name underscore sl and have specified the excel column as a this means in the a column of the excel sheet whose details we have specified at the bottom of the screen details of item name in second language are stored on clicking the import button all these details will be imported in busy that is all the item name in second language will be imported in busy apart from this you can use export second language masters xml option also to export data in a file this option is useful if you have entered second language details in this company and want to use the same details in some another company. For this, you can use this option, export second language details to a file, then log in on to another company. There you can use the import second master details XML option and specify the same file part. That is the file which contains the exported XML data and import the second language details in that company also. So you can export, import second language details also. We have discussed about the enabling of second language feature, entering second language details for company, item and account masters, entering transactions, configuring invoice and printing invoice in second language. Hope after going through this chapter you would be able to easily use second language support feature in Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.